Mr. Bell? Ding dong, you're not wrong. This way, please. And the veteran comedy actor Leslie Phillips, star of the Carry On films, has died at the age of 98. The veteran actor Leslie Phillips has died at the age of 98. He spent eight decades in the entertainment industry and he was known for his roles in the Carry On films and more recently as the voice of the Sorting Hat in the Harry Potter series. His wife said she had lost a wonderful husband and the public had lost a truly great showman. Sarah Campbell looks back now at his life. Take a look at me. Hello. 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 Take a look at me. He was the rake, the cad, the bounder, the ladies' man, and awfully funny. Hi, girls. I'm available. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Bell? Ding dong, you're not wrong. This way, please. His comic technique was developed in the theatre, but it worked just as well in three early carry-on films, on television and on radio. Surely I don't have to go to bye-byes. In. The Navy Lark ran for 18 years, from 1959. With our three stars, Stephen Murray, John Pertwee and Leslie Phillips. Oh, again. Uh, uh, up a bit. Up a bit. Uh, to me. To me. From, from you. you. Uh, uh, think, think of a number and double it. The man most likely to, one of a string of hit West End comedies, lasted four years. He starred in it and directed it and made a lot of money. It was an enormous hit. It turned into the biggest hit I've ever had, even though it was crucified by the critics. And it, I did it over 2,000 times. Despite the posh accent, he'd been born a cockney. He'd become a child actor to help his poverty-stricken mum after his father died when he was 10. His success reflected his drive as well as his talent. But he felt he'd become typecast. I just seemed to fit those sort of roles. It was, um, I mean, it was marvellous, really, to get those sort of roles. And they seemed important then. It was only later that I realised I was getting into a kind of a rut. I'm sorry to know that Kenya will be losing you. In his mid-50s, Leslie Phillips reinvented himself as a serious actor. If I were in a hole, you'd be the sort of chap I'd turn to. For, for the next 30 years, he played a succession of character parts and cameo roles. Not so much a hole, let's say more of a crossroads. He was an immensely accomplished actor. Oh, just think of it. A whole week together in uh, separate rooms. But for many, he'll always remain... Ding dong. The outrageous womaniser with a twinkle in his eye. Oh, you sexy beast. The actor Leslie Phillips, who's died at the age of 98.